Hi guys, my name is Pete and this is Training Kitchen. Welcome to this new video. Today we finally speak about strategy. I'm going to show you one of my uh, two main strategy that I use for my intraday uh, trading. Uh, I've been working for this strategy um, in this strategy for about the last four or five months more or less and the results are pretty much good uh, you can check all the trades that I made and uh, uh, all the trades I will do in this trading journal you can uh, you can find the link in the in the comment description below um, Join to my new disco group. I just opened a new disco group. I will share all my trading ideas and I want to grow my community. That's what, that's only what I want uh, from, from you guys. I don't want your money, I don't need your money, but I just uh, I need your help to increase my community. So all the same stuff. Subscribe the channel, thumbs up. Uh, use the comment section below to let me know what you think about this video and the other video that you can find on my channel. Uh, what else? What about a strategy? The name of the strategy is 81 strategy. It's not for the win profit. It's too high. The win profit of the strategy is 65 more or less. Uh, but 81 is the year in which I was born, so it could be a good reason. Um, well, uh, this is an intro the strategy, so it works to all the high volatility uh, tools, high volatility markets, okay? Uh, so I use it for uh, uh, indices, um, futures, um, I use it for S&P, NASDAQ, uh, but it could be good also for USD and gold, okay? So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's jump to the chart. Let's go uh, into the strategy. Um, I try to uh, get this video as quick as possible. I will make uh, other video to uh, to get into the details of, with with the, using an example. Okay, but uh, let me just show you the uh, the rules of this strategy. So we are on SP and. The first rule I think is the most important one and is a common rule that on my personal opinion uh, you, you, you must use for every kind of strategy, okay? So the first rule is the multi-time frame analysis, okay? Uh, because it's very important to identify the main trend. Okay, um, I have already made a video that I post here uh, of multi-time frame analysis, but um, let me show you uh, how, how I do uh, multi-time frame analysis, okay? So even, even if this is an intraday strategy, so uh, it works basically on uh, 30 minutes time frame, 50 minutes time frame, and five minutes time frame, uh, I would like to, uh, to start from, from the daily, okay? Just because it's very important to identify the main trend and try to uh, follow the direction, okay? So open the, the position following the direction of the main trend. So in this case, it's quite obvious that we are in a very bullish trend. We are now also in the forward time frame, we are now in a clear bullish, okay, uh, uh, bullish trend. Um, we can use volume analysis. I will I will post a video, another video to, to, to explain you the, the, the volume analysis, uh, to explain you how I do volume analysis. But basically, it could be very very uh, useful to identify uh, to identify the trend to uh, 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 to make a very uh, um, a correct okay multi time frame. Uh, analysis and first of all above all to uh, uh, respect the uh, rule number two of the strategy the rule number two is uh, identify the zones okay what I mean I mean um, you will be able to uh, find the zones um, from which the price could react okay in the future and to do this you can use so many uh, so many indicators you can use uh, price action you can use 
uh, Wyckoff, you can use volumes, okay? You basically, uh, you, you simply can use Akinashi, for example, okay? I use volume analysis uh, um, with, with Akinashi and uh, identify the main zones will be so much easier. Okay, so now we are on a 30 minute time frame, okay, which is the uh, the the time frame uh, that I consider for an intraday strategy. So we know that we are on a on a daily time frame, uh, sorry, on a um, strong bullish trend. Okay, so to identify the zones, uh, you just uh, identify the, 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 the impulse, okay? So the very strong momentum uh, uh, trend, okay? And go, go back uh, at the beginning of the impulse, okay? And basically you can, you can simply uh, highlight where the, the, the color of the candles uh, is, is changing, okay? So this, for example, could be a very good zones. In fact, price react here two times. Okay, uh, this could be another good one. Okay, because we have the point of control here. We have the volume profile uh, uh, showing that in this range there are a lot of volumes. Okay, and also here. Okay, so basically these are three uh, zones um, in which price could react in the future. So basically you have to wait for the price uh, to enter these zones and to react. Um, in fact, the rule number four, sorry, the rule number three is uh, wait for a big momentum. Wait for a big momentum. Because this this intraday strategy is based on momentum, okay. So a huge, uh, a huge um, high volumes uh, 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 candle, okay. Okay, so let me uh, let me show you a real example of rule number three. So we are on the fifty minute time frame, and this is my template, okay. Uh, which is a very, very basic, very, very easy template in which we have the 200 EMA, the 14, um, the 14, 14, sorry, um, simple uh, moving average, or you can use also the exponential moving average, no problem. And we have here volumes, okay? Uh, so the 200 EMA, um, needs only to just just a confirmation okay so if we are above the 200 may we are uh, searching for a long position okay if we are below it we are looking for sell positions okay uh, very very simple the 14 ema is is quite uh, a key um, a key a tool Okay, for the strategy. I will explain you later why. So, rule number three, wait for momentum. What, what I mean? Okay, uh, so let me suppose that, uh, now I don't remember, uh, this is the zone, okay, for which we are going to expect the price to, to, uh, uh, to react, okay? Okay, it was this one. So the price now react. Okay, as you can see, this this is fundamental for for this strategy. This is uh, the momentum. Okay, if you see um, on the background, uh, I have two uh, two vertical boxes that uh, um, our uh, sessions, okay? This is London session and this is uh, um, USA session, okay? 
Um, it's very important, in my opinion, um, to try to suit this strategy uh, to your uh, to your trading style and to your uh, way uh, to trade um, based on the time in which you can trade. Okay, so the reason for which I uh, 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 highlight these two boxes, these two sessions, is because just I don't want to trade <laughs> until when, when I sleep. Okay, so uh, I only trade in these on these two sessions. Um, if you can see, this is an empty box. What does it mean? Um, it means that from um, one hour before. Okay, the USA opening and uh, half an hour after the US opening, I will not open any positions. Okay, I just wait for the market to to, to do what the what it wants to do. Okay, uh, I just leave the big boys out there uh, playing with uh, with uh, with the price and uh, when when price is Consolidated, I mean, is everything is almost normal? Okay, uh, I will, I will uh, looking for a possible setups. So this is a very huge momentum. Okay, uh, and by the way, this is a U.S. opening. Okay, so technical analysis. As you can see, price broke this support, did this resistance that became support. Okay, uh, this will be a very another important resistance that price must broken. Okay, to finally um, to finally uh, identify the main trend. Okay, because if you remember, on a long time uh, uh, perspective, we are bullish okay so we are going to look for uh, a buy so another very um, clear way to identify the momentum is looking for uh, uh, the wheat okay of the period uh, i mean let me explain okay so look the width of this box okay price uh, uh, to uh, to complete this to go from uh, 44.71 to 44.48, okay, it takes I don't, I don't know uh, about about 12 hours, okay, from here from 2:30 to to 14.45, okay. The same distance here, okay. Uh, now, price it takes, I mean, three hours no, 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 one hour, sorry, one hour to cover the same distance, okay. So, what does it mean? It means that we are in a very strong bullish uh, momentum, okay very strong bullish momentum. So what I expect, I do expect that the price will make this kind of move, okay? Okay, so rule number four, guys, uh, very, very important, wait for consolidation, okay? Price needs to be, uh, uh, I mean, to breathe, okay, before, before uh, um, take uh, strength again and keep on moving on the main track. Okay, what does it mean? I mean the price must go up, so broke this kind of structure. Okay, this uh, uh, this resistance. Okay, retested. Okay, and then make a consolidation. Okay, 
because price need to take strain again okay need to breathe okay to grab all the liquidity to make the final uh, push up okay so let me show you what price will what price did yeah okay so this this is a very uh, clear situation in which uh, sellers try to uh, uh, um, to reject the price, but it, they they were not able. Okay, <clears throat> and so we are on on a buyer side. This is the consolidation. Okay, guys. So rule number five: the EMA inclination needs to be at least forty degrees. Okay, what does it mean? It's just a, another confirmation, okay, that we we need uh, to identify the strong momentum. How I measure the EMA inclination? I take this tool that is uh, in the left part of in this column somewhere over there, okay. Uh, his name is Trend Angle, if I suppose. Yeah, take and I measure like this, okay. Now. Uh, the 40 just a number okay it doesn't matter if it is th 37 okay it will be it will be good anyway okay it's just an an indication okay uh to be honest i will not use this this tool because uh, my eyes are uh, uh trained enough okay i recognize the momentum uh, uh without without using this kind of tool, but at the beginning could be useful. Okay guys, so now everything is uh, is complete. Uh, we are uh, uh, lined up, okay, all the rules are uh, um, confirmed. Uh, just another optional rule, um, if you use indicator, I do not use indicator, I don't need the when uh, 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 I follow this strategy, so I am bullish. I have. Uh, uh, I am above the 200 EMA and the inclination of the 40 EM, 14 EMA is, um, is strong. So I don't need indicators. But if you want, if you want uh, just uh, more confirmation, you can use uh, the, the RSI. You can use the uh, the MACD. Okay. I personally use the sorry let me take this one tma uh tma indicator okay which is a very good indicator made by uh the rt the moving average and it's a cool guy that i suggest you to follow this uh, i will i will uh, um post uh, his youtube channel in this description uh but you can use also this indicator okay and in the same way that uh, that he use it for uh, identify the identifying the divergences okay like in this case okay but uh, not using it in uh, overbought and oversold uh, um, indication like most part mo most part of the traders do but uh, just uh, um, wait for the line to cross the the middle line okay so when price close here above so we are looking for a long opportunities okay in this case as I told you okay if you respect the the the, the, um, the rules that I told you it's automatic that uh, the error size is by your side. Okay, so but if you want to use, to have a more confirmation, you can use that. You have also the, um, the indicator, the volume indicator, and this is very important as well. Um, let me show you how I use it with fixer range. Okay, which is an indicator that you easily find on the volume uh, settings. Okay, if you take this part, okay, 
Um, so the the amount of of histograms, okay, that are uh, around the huge one, okay. You can follow. You can see. You can clearly see where is the point of control, okay, of this range, okay, and you can also take this and this, which is the same, okay. Uh, so you know that if price are below, uh, sorry, above this uh, uh, point of control, as the after a very very strong momentum, uh, you could be pretty much sure the price is going um, is going up. Okay, um, you the only thing that you have to care about is not to. I mean, not to forget, okay, um, the zones, okay. So uh, if you have made a very good multi-time frame analysis, you have not to worry about it. But uh, please, please take a look of, of always take a look to what is on the left, okay, on the left of your of, of your graph, okay. Okay, so. Everything is good. So rule number six, con indicator confirmation. Rule number seven, breakout closing. Breakout closing. What I mean? I mean the five minute candle needs to close above in case of long, below in case of short, above the higher high okay so in this case in this case this is higher higher high okay and as you can see price has not closed above it okay so we have to wait so let's move Okay, this is a very important uh, thing that you must uh, know. If this was your previous eye and price will not close above it, first, you are, this is the new eye, okay? Same thing here, okay? So let me, do, let me take it in replay mode again. So you are here. Okay, price is rejected. So what, I, what what does it mean? It means there are a lot of sellers that push price, okay, to the down. Okay, so this is the new high that uh, that must be broken, and to be broken, the candle must close close above it. Okay, so let's move forward. Same thing, okay, but now the higher high is this one. Same thing again, okay. Same thing again, here. Okay guys, so this is the new max that we need to uh, uh, break, okay, to go to go up and search for a long position. So let's move, let's move forward. Okay, so ma this max is broken, but candles, the candle here close below, okay? And as you can see, these, these are a very, a very huge uh, week okay that uh, we, we must care about just because probably this is a, a strong signal that we have to uh, not to consider anymore a long position okay but let's see what happens okay guys this is a very good signal um, for a long for a long buy because 
Um, okay, this is a very, very huge week, but price uh, did not break this zone. Okay, if price is here, then we can consider uh, a possible uh, uh, a possible signal of trend reversal. Okay. But this strong, this strength, this seller strength, uh, probably is not enough. Okay, to to break this structure, so we can keep on uh, looking for a strong, uh, a long, uh, sorry, uh, opportunity. And this is a new high, is a new max that we have to uh, to break. But also, to be honest, this could be a very, uh, um, a very good level okay from which we can go long okay uh, just because price will not price doesn't want to go to go down okay it's it's clear here so let's move forward <clears throat> okay this is a very good signal okay this is a very very good signal why dodgy and then boom a very strong bearish uh, bullish uh, signal okay uh, uh, that if if look how many candles okay does this one eat okay one two three four five six seven candles okay so this is a very strong uh, uh, signal that we can we can go long okay very very easy but uh, I don't want to go long here. Uh, just one more confirmation. Okay, this is another confirmation. Price broke this resistance and closed below. Uh, sorry, above with a very strong movement. So probably I will go along here. Okay. Uh, later we'll explain how to, to to where to set up the um, where to set the, the, the stop loss okay so um, I can go along here but probably is not enough again why because I want for the price to close above this this max okay my first uh, target is not to lose <laughs> okay so um, I just want to filter um the 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 more they can uh, all the possible entries okay <clears throat> so if you if i wait for the price to to break the zone let's do wait yeah okay now price finally uh, uh breaks the zone make this uh, another another signal which is uh, some kind of uh, uh, uncertainty of the market but I but but then after this strong uh, movement to the up we are finally long okay so we can go long here okay we can go long here where is stop loss this is very important guys very very important so for the stop loss I use volume profile okay I use volume profile the first rule is uh, you have to set um, stop loss below the breakout zone, the breakout uh, resistances that are broken. Okay, so in this case, this is the resistance that uh, uh, is just broken for the price by the price. So. The stop loss will be here. Okay. Probably is very, very close. Okay, so the possibility that price will hit the stop loss, okay, are very, very high here. Okay. Uh, I want to be uh, I want to be very um, conservative, okay, in this case. Um, usually I set a stop loss just below the opening of the five minute candles, okay, or the five minute candles that broke the support, the resistance in this case, 
we are talking about long position okay so basically uh generally the my stop loss is here okay their risk reward ratio is one three always one three okay so price must go here okay but another very very important rule guys when price reach the uh, reasonable ratio one to one okay so in this case here okay I move I move uh, uh, the stop loss to to break even okay now I don't remember in this case yeah in this case uh, is break even okay it's very important it's very very important uh, that you you do this okay uh, that you move your stop loss to break even when price reach the the one to one reasonable ratio because a lot of the time we are on the breakout strategy uh, so a lot of the time um, price go back uh, to breathe okay or to uh, or just because it's a fake breakout okay so you must protect yourself okay this uh, and believe me <laughs> I, I back tested this strategy so many times and lot of lot of months a lot of uh, uh, assets uh, um, uh, forex uh, indices uh, commodities okay futures <clears throat> so this is a very important thing that you must do to protect your capital if you want to uh, avoid to move your stop loss to move your stop loss to break even and avoid to hitting your stop loss but um, you are more comfortable comfortable to uh, let your position uh, open for for a long time during the day uh, you can be more conservative like I do for example in this case my way to set your my stop loss is using volume profile fix the range so I take the range here okay well to be honest now the volume profile is here and this is a uh, this is not good <laughs> just because it's above the, the the usual stop loss okay but anyway, uh, if I move stop loss here, <laughs> I have I have reached my <laughs> my my target. Okay, my uh, my take profit. Okay, but it's it's not correct, in my opinion. I mean, um, you cannot set your stop loss in a, this in very short distance. Okay. Okay, so in this case, I will set the stop loss here, just a few pips, okay, um, below this candle. And above all of this uh, uh, resistance that becomes support. Okay, um, if you want to be much more conservative, stop loss will be here, okay? So, few pips below this this zone in which a big impulse had started okay and uh, if you use fixed range uh, to identify volumes from the last swing the last sorry the last uh, uh, um, consolidation zone as you can see that the POC which is a very very good price uh, uh, level guys so um, just trust to the, the volume profile because all my opinion is the best indicator is the best tool you can use for a simple reason the volume profile considers uh, three uh, variables the time time um, price and volumes so is mm, so much more precise than all the other indicators okay but anyway let's talk about this uh, uh, in another video um, so generally my stop loss will be here okay in this in this case now the price make this 
um, this uh, 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 huge movement to the down and basically this is not good because uh, um, it's a very strong the very a very strong uh, uh, volume okay a seller volume probably will be uh, uh, a POC here I don't know no just because maybe we are in the new high okay no it doesn't matter so let's move forward let's see what's happened next yeah no okay it's good price move up oh so my hit my TP is here and I suppose yeah price will go will go up okay uh, if your stop sorry if your stop loss is here let's see what happened and risk reward three which is my risk reward, standard risk reward ratio I do not consider any trade if I can offset my stop loss my TP with one three and yeah it is it is hit okay okay guys uh, it's taking too long uh, there are so many things that I have to tell you about this strategy for example how to avoid uh, fake breakouts and how to uh, minimize the drawdown so uh, to, to have a, a sniper entry uh, I want to tell you about uh, about volumes, volume profile, uh, foot, footprint chart, which is a very interesting tool that I discovered about three, four months ago, and uh, I, I keep on studying. Uh, well, but I will do in the next videos, okay? So for today, it's, I think it's enough. Uh, backtest this strategy. Uh, in the meantime, you see the disclaimer. Uh, backtest the strategy. Uh, it's very important that you backtest it and that you, uh, you 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 find your your trading style uh, that best suit to your um, to your lifestyle. I mean, and um, okay. I hope you like this video. Uh, so I will appreciate if you uh, subscribe the channel um, uh, and. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about. Okay, guys, thank you very much. See you in the next video.